So here's just another type of problem that you might see in your homework that emphasizes one of the concepts from a logistic functions, but we don't necessarily need logistic functions to be able to do this problem. It tells us this table is from a logistic function, and it asks us to find the point of diminishing returns. And so the key with this problem is understanding what it means by diminishing returns. So what we're looking for is the point at which the derivative is the greatest. All right, so when is the rate of increase the greatest? And so to do that, we're going to need to come in our table and we're going to need to find a, a row for p prime of t, right? And we'll just use the same technique here we've done all along, where we, um, where we to get, say, to get the derivative here, to get the derivative here, we'll find the slope between these two points, we'll find the slope between these two points, and then we'll average them to get this point here. So I'm going to do all that. I'm going to write it all in, and then we'll talk about what that means. Okay, so I filled in all the entries to the table. Up here, these are the slopes between the points, right? So this point 0.94 is the slope between 8 and 10. And this point 75875 down here, that's the average between the two slopes to the side of it. Again, this is how we've been doing it. Um, from the beginning. And so if it wants us to find the point of diminishing returns, we're looking for the point at which the derivative is the greatest. So remember our function, our logistic function, kind of looks something like this. And so at the beginning, the derivative is going to be positive, but not that great. Here, the derivative will be positive, but not that great. But the point where the derivative is the greatest is going to be right in the center here, right? It's kind of a, it's, it's a little bit hard to see, but this area in the center is a really steep slope. And we can see from our table for us that that occurs at t equals 12 um, is when the derivative is the highest. And so that's what your answer is going to be for this problem. Mm -hmm.